Hey y'all, this is Jenny. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I am super excited for this video. So if you've been following me since 2020, you know that I've started making junk journals in like, it was like the end of 2016. So it's been a long time ago. This is 2024 if you're watching this in the future. <laughs> but yeah, so I just always, so I've crafted for so long and I just have so many fabrics and things like that. And um, I just always wanted to do like fabric packs or little bundles of things. And honestly, when I first started, that's that was my thought that I would just make junk journals, you know, for, you know, myself and people that I know. And then I would sell like supplies to people who make junk journals of all the other things. But just never did it everything was chaotic in my craft room I couldn't find what I really needed I didn't know what I really had you know all the things so now that I've I feel like I've got things together pretty much now I um, actually filmed that process and I will have a video coming soon for y'all of moving I separated my scrapbooking space from my junk journaling slash work room and I just made a room dedicated to working each day and filming and, you know, create the journals that I sell and be able to do the fun things like this, like offer different things. It may be every week. It may be every two weeks. It may be once a month. I'm not sure yet. I'm just, when I feel inspired and I'm like, okay, I'm going to make a pack of, you know, whatever, then that's what I'm going to do. So, um... These packs that I have this time for the first ones, they are, what inspired these was I had some wallpaper borders that are so beautiful. They look like they're just hand painted. They're so pretty. And I had this wallpaper I've had in my stash for years and it coordinates with these. Um, I have some smaller borders. I just... That's my, I was just so inspired when I got these borders last month and I was like, you know what? Like I, um, my sister had given me a little bit of this fabric and it, it just all started blend. Like I just started pulling pieces that actually my friend, Gingy at Gingy's journey, she was hand dyeing some paper packs. Y'all, those are for sale over on her Instagram. They are the most beautiful. She used black beans to dye these blue shades of paper and envelopes and just fabric pieces and all the things. And she created bundles. I'm not sure if she has any left, but I will link her Instagram below. She's trying to start back on YouTube a little. She has a little one, so she's doing just kind of, you know, quick music covered videos, but she is active on Instagram. And she loves I was getting her some happy mail ready she had sent me um, some happy mail last month and she loves these um she's create in the process of making some bloom journals um I believe they're called bloom journals the Amity bloom she had taken that course and I was putting this together for her and I was like you know what I am going to she really Thank you, Gingy, because she really, really inspired me to do this. She's been telling me for years. She has been telling me for like, I'm pretty sure we became friends like in 2020. And she's been telling me for years, share your stuff, like sell packs. People will buy it. So I just kept saying, I don't know if I have a lot of this or this. And she guided me through it over the phone on the, on video clips. And she's like, look, just... If you have a tiny piece, you cut it up and you're like, how many pieces can I get from this? Like this lace, for instance. I love this lace. I don't have but a couple tiny pieces left, but I cut it up to share in four of these because you know what? Like I'm always finding more things at estate sales and thrift stores. And I mean, you know, why not? Just, I don't have to make 20, right? Just make a few. So thank you, Gingy, for inspiring me to do this and yeah so I am calling these bloom packs because whenever whenever I find border like this over the years um Nazzy and Amity Bloom I she was one of the you know there were those four or five people that I feel like we all watched when we first began I know I had you know I still I still have you know 
to that are friends. I like to call friends and that I still watch to this day. Three, three of them. But um, you know how our styles change and we don't really watch, you know, the same people year after year. But anyway, those of you who do, you know what I'm talking about. But so I watched Emily Bloom back then all the time. She was making traveler's notebooks and she was doing those bohemian style traveler's notebooks. Anyways, I fell in love with that, with, you know, just all the things. So this was, you know, her style. And so I thought Bloom because it's my first set that I'm releasing and then Bloom because they make me think of her. So I, um, I also wanted to say I am going to start listing over on the Maker's Market. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's a great avenue to sell your products or to buy products for other from other creators. Um, if you don't want to go the Etsy route, um, I will link a video below of the person that um, brought it to my attention that she shares that. I mean, I guess she started it. I'm pretty sure, but. Anyways, I will link her name below, and if I can find a video where she's talking about it, I will link that below. I'm going to try to get a link from her. I feel like since I've never actually, well, I listed a couple of things last year at Christmas, but I ended up selling them on Instagram. I do that the most, and so they are totally fine if you sell in another, you know, avenue to remove it from your social media. I mean, to remove it from their, you know from the marketplace it, it, they're fine with that you know if you have other avenues that you do sell from but anyways i haven't really listed the things that i joined it to list for like the fabric packs and bundles and things like that so if there are any of these left um by tonight or tomorrow i'm going to take the time to list over there but i'm thinking there's a code that i can get that i can give you like five dollars off your first time I'm like 95% sure like your first purchase you know <laughs> so if I haven't linked it below just ask me and I will send it to you you know by email or direct message on Instagram so um if you want to if you're interested I will have four of these available you can send me an email at jens j-e-n-n-s underscore junk at yahoo.com or you can send me a dm I would love to be friends over on Instagram that's J-E-N-N-S underscore junk underscore. And I'm really trying to put out, you know, at least two videos a week now. Sometimes it may be more, sometimes it may be one. But I'm really trying to post here and on Instagram. I have a lot of things in store that I'm really excited about. Projects I'm working on, fabric packs, journals I'm making, all the things. I'm really excited to be back. So, getting, I'm going to go ahead and get into this pack. Every time they will be different price points. Um, they will be, you know, they may just be the fabric bundles. They may not have wallpaper or papers that match, but this is the ones I'm starting off with. So these will be $35. You'll get this little bundle, this whole bundle. There is um, items on the front and the back, and I'm going to go through them. And I feel like I can ship these, or I know I can ship these for $5 if you are fine with first class mail. If you want them priority, they are 10 So, or 9 So, I'm going to get into these, y'all. I need to bundle them up all pretty with clear plastic, but they're a little bit larger than an actual, the 9 by 12 So, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fit them down in the clear bags to make them all cute, but we will see. So, I'm going to go ahead and go through little add-on bundle that comes free with it obviously but I tied it up with this super cute pink sheer ribbon and you will get a piece a good size piece most of these are good sizes I mean size pieces like this is approximately 18 inches of this super cute floral print And then you'll get three different flowers off of this roll. A piece of this upholstery fabric. And then this was the last of this that I have only kept me a small little piece, but a piece of this eyelet cotton. 
and then a piece of this with the little daisies on it. So I feel like these would be so fun for whether you want to do the bloom journals or you just want to do, you know, if you just like the vintage florals or um, baby albums, this would make the most beautiful baby album. Um, oh goodness, let's see. I mean, you know, the French blues, Christmas gifts. I know that it is like fall time now and the pinks and blues aren't on everyone's mind, but since I was creating that Happy Mail and I just was so inspired while I had it out, I'm going ahead and releasing these because I feel like not everyone, I do seasonally craft for the most part, unless I get custom orders, but um, not everyone does, right? So I have closed the tops of these with a little garment pin and a little pink rose. And then I'm sharing from my vintage sewing supply stash these little pearl buttons, so or button cards rather. So there are these blue colored, and then there are a couple with light pink on them. They are not all completely full, but they all have some buttons on them. So you could take the buttons off and use them, or just reuse the packaging, or you know however you desire. So that will go on the top. And then wrapped around it is a very long piece of this. Y'all, <laughs> I should have measured these things, but I, you know what? When I'm done with this, I am going to measure below how, you know, the size of everything. But this is just a super pretty um, trim. I got an estate sale. It's ivory color with the pink woven through it. The, the kicker is to repackage these like I have it, right? Super long piece of this fun fabric trim I had gotten at a garage sale. This would be so much fun to make ruffles out of. See, you, even if you don't sew, this folds up perfectly. You could staple it, glue it. Piece of this, the blue. A tiny little ivory dolly. A piece of this table scarf that has the eyelet lace with the blue and the scalloped edges. A little piece of this super fun cotton trim. You can weave lace through that. A piece of this white cotton lace. I feel like this is also enough stuff you could actually make several journals out of. A piece of this super cute lace. And you can break up the things, you know, and maybe use all the white things in your Christmas journals. Or you could dye the white fabrics any color you wish. So I'm sharing a little piece of this dotted Swiss or Swiss dot, however you say it. Um, vintage like a little mint, I mean, it's a soft mint green color. Everyone will get a different piece of this um, upholstery fabric. It looks like it's hand painted. So each person's flower will be a little different, but it all blends with the color scheme. You'll get a piece of this wallpaper border. Some of them have one flower, some of them have two. So what I've done with the wallpaper piece, I have folded it up around a sheet of, um, the base sheet here is a sheet of watercolor paper. And you could actually use this as a journal base too. And I just folded up the wallpaper around it. And so you will get a double layer of it. And then I folded it up to make a pocket in the front. And then everyone gets a really large piece of this wallpaper. This is enough to actually make two mini journals out of that are actually about five by seven each. Or um, you could cut it up and use it just in little strips. 
now that I'm showing this, I'm like, why didn't I just share one piece of this? Of this? Why, why did I, you know, I feel like I'm always like, go big or go home, you know? A piece of this fabric. A blue pinstripe. I don't think it's ticking, but it's just a pretty blue and white stripe. And then I wanted to send a piece of muslin large enough for anyone that... So the, the fabric that I started off with was this fabric. And it's, it's really sheer. I mean, now you can use Mod Podge or um, the Stitch Witchery or whatever it's called to iron these on. If you don't want to see the glue through it but it's still since it's so sheer I went ahead and included a piece of muslin so that you won't be able to see through it hopefully underneath but it's a super large piece of this it literally feels like it's hand painted but it was from a vintage sheet and then here is the piece from this fabric that um, coordinates with the wallpaper. Then another little piece of that with the, from the little flowers that's up top. And then lastly, a piece of this fun fabric. And I thought that blended so well with all of the colors. So, I hope that y'all are interested. Let me know. I have four of these available. Um, whoever emails me first, I mean, you know, and claims them, they will be yours. I'm going to send you a payment, and unless I've listed them on Marketplace. But before, until then, I will send you an invoice um, through PayPal. And I just ask that you pay it within 24 hours, and then it should ship the next business day after that so yeah y'all just stay tuned i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and comment like subscribe all the things so thank y'all so much and i will see you on a couple of days y'all have a wonderful day bye